welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018, PP18, here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Mohammed Najib Azizi, who is the chairman of the Afghanistan Telecommunication Regulatory Body, or ATRA. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Such a pleasure. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the fact that there's been considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, or ICTs, as an enabler for good, for development, for the benefit of people, of families, communities and nations. And I wanted to find out what's your perspective on this? Uh, I think there is a no second opinion in regards to the importance of the ICTs. Uh, as the people around the world need the support uh, from their governments. And uh, in Afghanistan also, uh, we understand that uh, ICT is a really uh, an important tool in order to empower the people. It plays a significant role in the promotion of democracy, uh, in bringing accountability and transparency. And above all, the Afghanistan government is uh, committed uh, to utilize ICTs uh, for the uh, better delivery of the services. Uh, so um, I think overall, uh, we all uh, are on the same page that ICT plays a significant role in the development of the societies and in the uh, development of the countries. Now, this plenipotentiary conference is the first one since the United Nations and the world, in fact, agreed on the Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to find out which are most important for you and, uh, and how is Afghanistan promoting these and, and, and looking uh, to the future? I think uh, overall uh, Afghanistan is uh, very much uh, putting efforts uh, to make sure that we achieve the sustainable uh, development goals. Uh, and indeed, uh, you are very right that this is the first uh, PP uh, after the SDGs are introduced. And in Afghanistan, uh, in particular, uh, we as the regulatory authority are utilizing the Universal Access Fund in a couple of areas uh, in order to make sure that the development in the different social sectors in Afghanistan uh, occur. Uh, if I may give the example, uh, we have connected all public universities of Afghanistan to the internet. Uh, we are working closely with the Ministry of Education and uh, there are hundreds of schools uh, that will get connected uh, this year uh, to the internet. And then also, uh, I think this is an important uh, area that uh, in order to bring uh, the empowerment of a woman uh, also uh, into this uh, discussion, uh, we are very uh, closely working with the Ministry of Women Affairs of Afghanistan in order to see uh, what sort of uh, different uh, enabling roles ICT could have for the girls and women in Afghanistan. And uh, again, um, what we are uh, doing is that uh, uh, in collaboration and uh, um, uh, cooperation among the different government agencies, uh, we are closely uh, working and ICT is considered as a cross-cutting uh, component in this regard. Now you mentioned uh, being connected to the internet and schools being connected to the internet. About half the world's population is currently uh, connected and the, the other half aren't. I just wanted to find out what other steps are you taking to try and bridge this digital divide, I should say. I think it's very important for any country to uh, identify uh, the different components that are required uh, to improve connectivity. In Afghanistan, the first thing is that uh, our vision is that by 2021, we want to bring at least 50% of the Afghan population online. And in this regard, we understand that the uh, development of the physical infrastructure is uh, of immense uh, uh, significance. Uh, that's why uh, just last year, uh, we introduced the open access policy in order to further liberalize the telecommunication market of Afghanistan, where we have allowed the uh, private sector uh, to come forward and invest in the development of the uh, fiber optic ring across the country. And likewise, it is important for us to make sure that uh, we uh, improve uh, the regulatory uh, environment in Afghanistan. Uh, that's why with the uh, support of the different uh, institutions, uh, we are uh, modifying and uh, reforming the regulatory frameworks in Afghanistan to make it more investment friendly and to make sure that connectivity goes uh, beyond the urban centers uh, and we should be able to uh, bring also the rural areas uh, under the coverage. And that's why the Universal Access Fund uh, is uh, massively utilized uh, for this purpose. And uh, lastly, I would say that uh, overall, the political commitment of the country is very important and uh, we are lucky that uh, the president of Afghanistan, uh, Ashraf Ghani, is very much supportive of connectivity. And I think uh, the overall 
uh, development of uh, the telecom sector uh, is uh, the top priority of the government, and that's why our CEO attended also the PP here to, this year. Being here at the PP, obviously you've had uh, a chance to uh, get your uh, message across, but I wanted to ask you a final word for our viewers, uh, for our wider audience here. I think we have to understand that ICT is uh, changing uh, every day, and there are a new uh, emerging technologies that are coming. And uh, it is the job of the governments and the regulators uh, to make sure that the people are aware, both in regards to the benefits and the risks associated uh, to these uh, changes in the technologies. And uh, I think uh, we all need to work together uh, in order to uh, make ICT as a tool uh, for the development of our countries. Dr. Mohamed Najib Azizi, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Pleasure. Great stuff.